Like Landon, Kyle had also came a few days early to scout and find a top prospect to try and harvest with this tag that has been 11 years in the making. The by far front runner on Kyle's hit list was a wide ivory tipped beauty with a unique drop cutter that set him apart from all others in Kyle's eyes. It is September 29th today. It's opening day for antelope in Southern Alberta. We spotted on Monday a nice antelope just a little ways from here and uh, we watched him for two days and we were able to get permission from the landowner. He's got a drop cutter on his left side so we nicknamed him Droppy. But we just got all geared up and uh, now we're just waiting on daylight a bit, try and spot him and then make a play from there. We uh, just spotted Droppy. He's about, I'd say, a thousand yards to the east of us. The wind is going to out of the out of the east to the west, a little bit to the north, so it's perfect wind. So we're slowly just gonna go and crest these little hills and glass, and then maybe if we can finally find where he is exactly when we're in there, pop up this uh, Montana decoy, and uh, hopefully he did what he did yesterday, and he'll charge up looking for a fight. But anyway, we're gonna get in there and see if we can make this happen. On camera, this terrain may look considerably flat. However, the fact is that this particular area was covered with small hills that the antelope could easily navigate through while remaining unseen. Having waited 11 years for this tag, combined with the fact that Kyle wanted this particular antelope, it was decided that the best decision would be to back out, spot the antelope, and determine an exact approach. Coming up on The Fever. It's right there. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Waited 11 years for this tag. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Oh, that is the guy I wanted. After getting to a high spot, confirming the buck's location, and establishing the best route to take to him, the does began bedding. Hoping that this would keep the buck nearby, the decision was made to go back at him and commit to getting close enough for a shot. Frustration was beginning to build as Kyle felt he should be right on top of where the antelope were last seen. Well, at least we got the wind in our favor. Fear started creeping in that 11 years of praying to fill this tag might not be answered today. Then Kyle took a quick peek over the next hill and things changed quickly. It's right there. He's gonna come in on the hill right here, okay? He's coming right at us. He's gonna come right over this hill. There he is. Right there, stop. Ready? No, I'm not on him. Are you on him? Yes, I'm on him. I hit him. Yes! He's down! Yeah! <laughs> you yeah, buddy! Nice. You were on him? Oh, sorry. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Manny Boy! Did you see his cutter? Oh. 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 oh my god! He was left, further left! Yeah. Fever, baby. Oh, he thought we were another hill. Oh yeah, I seen him coming. He was left to where I thought. Oh, buddy. I waited a long time to put my hands on an animal.
It's droppy. That's a wicked cutter. Oh, yes. Landon spotted him on Monday, I guess it was. No, Saturday. And I wanted this one since the get go. Oh, he's stinky. Because of this drop cutter. Stinky. Uh, it's Monday, the season opener. We've been watching this guy for two days and uh, put him to bed last night, just a little bit to the west of here. Today we showed up early, first thing in the morning, opening day, and we were able to locate him with all his does. Couldn't make, uh, decide what to do because he was in a tough spot to get close to. So we called my dad and my grandpa, and we set them up on a point to watch, just to see what he did. And me and Matt kind of crept in here slowly and just kept Creston Hills and figuring where they were, kind of heading that way. And then all of a sudden we uh, come over a hill and see him see us. We duck down real quick and he must have thought we were other goats, antelope. So he uh, started beelining right for us and uh, came over the hill, stopped head on. And I said to Matt, I'm like, are you on him, are you on him? And he wasn't on him yet. He was fumbling with the camera trying to get ready. And luckily he got it on in time and said I was good. So I took the shot at about 70 yards, uh, square in the chest. And uh, he ran about 50, 60 yards and then piled up right here. Oh, that is the guy I wanted. <laughs> 